here's the new aviary that my dad and my brother built. This is what's going to house the uh, quail. I'm not really sure what else you're putting in there, if the chickens are going in here or not, but it's nice looking. It does look nice. I like it. I like it a lot. You can see it's got a back door for shutting them in at night, keep them protected from the main, or critter, the main critters, the, the ermines and the weasels. Oh yeah, a little walkway here. Not bad, I like it. All right, so I just cut a bunch of these six footers in half. These are the cross members that are going onto the greenhouse. So we're gonna get, get them done here and we'll take them up to the top, get the generator started and we'll clean up the ends. All right, so I just put in the last two cross members here of the, the north side. So I went back over a few just to make sure that, you know, there was no cracks or anything like that. So the only thing I gotta do on this side is uh, this last one here, this last one at the end. Um, wasn't quite finished, I guess. I didn't finish it or it just got cracked. Needs better weld. This one here needs a finished weld. And then down here, I just need to clean this up. So I'm gonna clamp this up, finish this, make sure it's solid. And then this side will be all flush, straight and plumb. So we'll work on the next side as soon as we can. Uh, some today, maybe some tomorrow. All right, last uh, cross brace on the north side, all finished up. Um, Rewalded that right there, got that nice and solidified. Everything's nice and straight. As you can see, it's pretty damn straight. It's a lot more rigid now. So this is a 26 by 75 foot greenhouse. Um, I'm doing all of this in zone 6B, Southern Ontario. Um, this is a glass galvanized greenhouse. And I can't wait to have it all done so I can get going on the inside. Now the south side. So I got all the cross members in except for two, um, just at the end here. But unfortunately I have to dig out some of this here. I have to move this, this uh, patio stone over a bit obviously and then I have to put something under it. And uh, then we get to the corner and we'll have to do the same thing. Everything's plumb, square, flush, and uh, just level. So we're just gonna we're gonna get that done. Hopefully today before it rains. It did rain last night. It is Sunday. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get started on that. Dig out some of that stuff, get it set, and then I can put these last two cross members in, which was belong right here on each uh, on each end right here and here. And then uh, that's it for the day. But uh, soon I'll be able to start the assembly process. So I can start assembling all the ribs and start getting rid of a lot of this material and stuff off the ground here. It's just spread out. So I want to get rid of as much as I can so I have as little to work with. And then we work on the ends. But as soon as I'm finished this though, I'm pretty sure I'm almost done the welding. I'm pretty much done, except for a few little things here and there that might arise. So I'm really excited. I got all the welding done. Finally, took a long time. Um, I'm going to be working on the assembly probably a little bit tomorrow, uh, but I do have a few other things I have to do around the food forest, um, including taking care of tent caterpillars. And we're, we're going to look at that right coming up next. Uh, the only thing I have left is to do the bases uh, on, the, on the south side. Everything else has been done, um, but I'm ready to go. And uh, if you like my videos, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and uh, tell all your friends. It really helps the, uh, the algorithm. Um, I'm really trying to get to a point where I can just uh, do this full time. Uh, but I appreciate it. If you like my videos, uh, don't forget to comment. I love having little chats with people. If you feel like you're missing some information or, or something like that, just toss me a little question. I'll answer it. Uh, but we'll, let's get going on to those tent caterpillars. Well, this looks a little more like a spider web, but this is, is tent caterpillars, although I don't see them. I hope I didn't wait too long.
Yeah, there's a whole bunch in there behind the leaf. But yeah, we're just gonna cut that off right at the branch there, right at the tip, right there. Cut that off, and we're gonna go burn them. Best way to get rid of them. Now, fortunately for me, we don't get a lot of these out here, but uh, when I do, I might as well get them because there's probably a couple hundred in there. And uh, that's just a huge population to expand. So let's get started. We'll get them, collect them all, get them in fire. Garden's still looking good. Tomatoes are growing good. Got a few cucumbers this year. They were really tasty. Wish I had more. Peppers, still, still not necessarily a good thing. They, they didn't grow very well. Um, these are new beds as well, so you know, they are what they are. There's a couple on there, but they're bug ridden. Um, this is my haul for today. A whole bunch of tomatoes, a couple of cucumbers, uh, a bunch of baby carrots. Nothing really major on the baby carrots. And then obviously I got to burn this here. And this is what I noticed too, is there's another little tent caterpillar nest right there. We're gonna trim that tree up right now. And then I think that's pretty much all the ones that I can reach. There's a couple up high and a few trees, but no big deal. We're gonna go take care of that. Then uh, I wanna do some apple picking and a few other things before I leave today. All right, so I'm up in the tree near my composter here. It's an apple tree. It's an early apple tree. These are definitely overripe apples. Um, they're very sweet. I couldn't even tell you really what kind they are other than saying there may be a Macintosh or some type of cider apple, um, but they're very sweet. So I'm just gonna knock a few off the tree, see if I can find a couple of decent ones, and then I'm gonna try and fill up my, my composter a little bit with uh, a whole bunch of these. And uh, it'll make some good compost over the winter time. Well, these are the three that I found that were decent enough to try, to eat, to test. So I'll let my dad taste test these ones, and he can let me know how he thinks. I'm pretty sure he likes Macintosh, but he also likes Granny Smith. But Granny Smith isn't this year. I might be in a couple years. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna get this uh, this lavender right here. We're gonna get that into to pots, and uh, these will probably get stored for the winter. Same with the strawberries, which I'm also gonna do. I'm gonna uh, mix up a bunch of dirt here. Um, so basically, this I got some uh, black earth, and then I have some peat moss here. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of probably like a a third into the black earth, anyways. Mix it up. Uh, make a bunch of pots and then duplicate some strawberries and get those lavender in. Okay, so I put a little bit down in the bottom of these little these little pots here. I'd cut one out just using scissors. That's what makes it so easy with these peat pots. And you just put it down in there. I'm gonna grab some dirt. Fill her in. Just like that. There we go. That's all I'm gonna do. 
pack it in a little bit. Maybe add a little bit more here. I'll put it out with the strawberries so they get watered and taken care of until I can put them in the garage for the winter. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I got 11 out of 12. That's not bad, really. And then I have two, four, six more strawberries to plant. Um, I do have a few runners, so I'm going to go over and place all of these over by the runners. And then I'm, and that's it. Pretty simple, easy peasy. And here we have all the strawberries duplicating. I got another eight more going. We'll see if some of them might go, some of them are iffy, but most of them will. So I started off with like six of these. I have like more than 20 now. And my lavender, which I'm just getting ready for next year because I'd like to place that in and around areas. It smells good, it's useful. Um, I mean, it's lavender. Everybody knows what lavender is. It smells really good. It has a nice flower, attracts the uh, pollinators. There we go. Well, I got some extra time here, so I'm going to try and put up a bunch of rails. Um, window rails right along here. They're all vertical. So let's get started and 